everyone, I'm Elle, and today I'm going to rank my purchases from 2022 and show you my worst to best purchases. And I know that worst is kind of not the great word that I would want to use for these purchases, but I'm just going to say worst because um, if I had to list them out, they would land on the worst side. I want to start with my worst purchases so that we can end on a good note. Um, I mean, I think this year was a year where I spent a lot of money and I collected a lot of things that I've always wanted to collect. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I guess the worst purchase I would say, but it is the Pochette Accessoire, I think, in Damiri Ben, and it's so pretty and it's like brand new i i haven't worn this at all yet and i think that's why i landed it as the worst so far now to be fair i would normally use this in the summer spring time and i'd recently just bought it in like a few weeks ago in um, november so i don't know if it's exactly fair to call this my worst purchase but i guess so far this is my worst one because i haven't taken it out yet the next one is the ysl reeve gauche tote and this one is super pretty um, and I th and I think it takes like the number nine spot out of ten simply because um, I have a, I got another tote this year that I use more than this one I mean I really love the color of this one and it goes with a lot of summer outfits but I think it takes number nine because I haven't used it so as much and I'm kind of nervous about getting this stain just because it's such a light color but um, yeah, the Reeve Gauche tote in small is my number nine spot um, for my purchases this year. It's super pretty. I think I'm gonna try, we'll see how it goes um, for the rest of the year. And I am hoping to take this more on vacations. But yeah, right now it is on my, in my number nine spot. Number eight is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Mati in the reverse monogram. It's super pretty. And I think that this takes number eight because I have the, um, the regular monogram one. And I think that I've used that one more than I've used this one. And I think that my idea for this one is that I'm gonna use it more when it's raining or cold with my, um, with like jackets and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I've only used it a few times and I don't know if this was like a repetitive purchase, but I'm also really happy to have it. So yeah, out of all mine, I guess this takes number eight for this year. I'm very happy to have it though. So I would never get rid of this, but yeah. Number eight, I bought this back in, um, when did I buy this? I bought this in March when I, when I started a little, going a little crazy with the purchases this year. Um, I will link the video where I um, purchased this and a, and a few other bags this year, but yeah, super pretty. So that one is number um, eight for me. And then number seven is, okay, so I don't know if this is completely fair because this is the mini Jackie. Um, shoulder bag. This one was, I didn't exactly purchase, so I didn't pick it out. This was a gift from my brother, but I'm including it here because it's one of the, one of the uh, bags that I added my, to my collection this year. But I really love her, and I think um, I just ranked it as number, um, what number is this? Number seven, because I use other bags more um, that I've noticed, and this one I have to really think about if I want to carry it because I carry it as a top handle. And um, I have to really think about what I'm doing that day to figure out if I want to commit to a top handle bag. But yes, number seven, super pretty, uh, the mini Jackie. And then I have, let me scooch these guys. Oop. Next, number six, I would say, oh, is my Gucci bamboo. Um, small top handle bag. My mom is actually borrowing that right now because she is on a tropical vacation and she th and that bag is very tropical destination-y or like very summery. 
I love that bag so much and I'm really happy that I added that to my collection this year. Um, I don't have it to show right now because my mom's borrowing it, but yes, that one would be my number six. Um, I think the problem with that bag is that because it's white, I get very nervous with carrying it. Like I have to think about what am I doing today, but I do use it way more than I originally thought. So yeah, really love that bag. I'll try to add a picture of it over here. Um, that is the Gucci um, bamboo small top handle bag. It has a year added to the name, but I don't remember what it is. But yeah, that one is my number six bag of this year. And in fifth spot this year for the um, bags that I've added to my collection is my Louis Vuitton vintage um, pochette accessoire in the multicolor um, in the noir. Now this is the reason why I think that I am having second thoughts about um, the other one over there, the pochette in uh, Damir uh, Azor. I am having second thoughts about that because I've noticed that I I love this and I've always wanted one of these um, and I think it kind of sparked my interest in collecting these vintage ones that you can't buy from the store anymore and I'm thinking about getting the white multicolor one which is why I think having the Damier um, Azor one would might be kind of repetitive so um, I really love this one because um, of the colors and um, yes, I am excited to have ha added this, this one this year because it kind of sparked the, oh, now I want to kind of um, kind of look into getting these discontinued ones um, that I didn't have the chance to buy in the past because I, you know, I was too young um, to buy them. And now I kind of want to hunt them down. It's kind of fun to like see if you like what kind of deals you can get and what you can find and in what condition. So I think I might be dabbling in that next year, but we'll see. Anyways, <laughs> this is my number five for this year. So number four, I would have to say is my Dior uh, book tote. This is in the size medium in this... Uh, reverse toit de jouy pattern in the navy or i think it's called deep blue or something like that online i think this is so pretty and i use it way more than i thought that i would um i use this usually when i know that i'm going to be uh, away from my house for a long period of time um and i'm not working i will take this to add like i'll usually carry, carry another bag and then carry this with like a bunch of extra stuff in here so i love this one so much and i think that that's why this one my reef gauche tote ranked so um low this year was because i use this one more and i think that it's because it's a darker color that i'm not too scared of it getting um kind of like dirty it's i mean i'm still kind of cautious about it but i'm not as scared to get it um like a stain or anything because I think that a stain can be kind of hidden in this pattern as much as this one so they do serve the same purpose like I use them both in the same way but I noticed that I um I grab this one more than I grab the uh reef gauche tote so yes that what that's why this one is number four on my um 10 uh handbags that I've bought this year Okay, number three is my mini Lady Dior in gray. Ugh, it's just such a stunner. It's so beautiful. Um, I got this one, um, I wanna say I got it in October and I've used it way more than I thought. I noticed that this size is super functional for me because um, I use it crossbody and um and also top handle and then the strap is small enough where you can tuck it in um and it carries my essentials and i just love the look of these so much this year was definitely the year that i discovered that how much i love the lady dior bags 
um, I am trying to stop myself from buying a bunch of colors and telling myself that I don't necessarily need to buy every single one that I think is pretty because I think they're all pretty. But I freaking love this bag so much. Oh, my nails kind of match it. But yes, I need to do a first impression of this. But um, it's just going to be me ranting about and raving about how much I love this bag. I love this size. Um, but yeah. This is number three. My number two spot goes to the Lady Dior in small. Um, this one is so freaking pretty. This one is the one that really, really made me fall in love with Lady Dior's and made me realize that I love all of the sizes and so many colors and I have to really stop myself from um, buying every single one that I think is pretty. But yes, this one is so beautiful. I bought this in early March and it really kicked off my um, love for Lady Dior's. But yes, I use it way more than I thought and it is such a pretty color that um, matches a lot of things that I wear. And um, I think that it's a really great size. I haven't decided which size I like better between the two but I'm glad that I have um, both of the sizes to choose from. But yes, this is number two. I love her so much and um, yeah, just so beautiful. So let me put that right there. And so my number one purchase of the year, my absolute favorite purchase this year would have to be my medium classic flap in this medium pink color. <laughs> And it is, I think the color rose is what they called it on the tag. It's this beautiful, like perfect pink color. And ugh, it is just so pretty. So this is my first classic flap uh, purchase from the store. And it is absolutely my dream bag. Like if I could, could figure out a bag that would be my dream bag, it would definitely be this. And I can't believe that I... Um, all the stars aligned and it was available for me right when I walked in um, for my birthday bag this year and I love it so much and I think with the prices I didn't know if I it would be responsible for me to add one of these. If you watch my unboxing of this you could kind of um, see the story about why this was such a perfect bag for me um, and the time that I bought it and all the stars just kind of aligned. But um, yes, this is my number one purchase this year, and I'm so happy to have added it. So let me put it right there, and you could kind of see, oh, <laughs> oh I thought that it'd be fun to quickly add my um, accessories purchases, or my small leather goods purchases. Um, so I guess my worst purchase as far as small leather goods go would have to be my um, Louis Vuitton Nice BB. And I think that it's mainly because I haven't gone on a long trip where I would be, I would have to feel like I would need to carry a lot of um, cosmetics because I've just, just been using small, um, small cosmetic bags for my trips lately. So I think I just haven't gotten a chance to use this. So I haven't used it at all. So I guess that would be my worst, um, my worst small leather goods purchase. And then I think next would have to be my Recto Verso wallet. Um, I have really enjoyed using this so far and I think that's really um, nice having like cards and then somewhere to put your cash and somewhere to put like little things like that and attach your keys to it because it has this little um, hook right here. So that has been really nice just to have everything all in one. So I guess that would be my number three out of four. And then my next one would have to be my, um, I finally added this because one of my keys scratched the inside of one of my bags and it kind of drove me like crazy. <laughs> so I added this um, and I am happy to have that. And I think I've been using this more than this. So that's why this is number two. And my number one would have to be, hands down, my medium agenda from Louis Vuitton. This thing I use literally every day. Um, I, I write in it all the time and I can't believe that I haven't added this size 
um, to my collection. But yes, I'm really happy that I have this um, in my collection this year. So yeah, those I wanted to add those really quickly um, since this is kind of a roundup of things that I've bought this year. And I think it's nice because I could kind of reflect on my purchases in the incoming years and kind of see what works for me and what doesn't work for me um, as the years come. And yeah, let me know um, what your favorite purchases were, what you think about my purchases. My dog is also on the bed, kind of making everything shake and just ignore him. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.